What is the strategy for scaling an e-commerce brand profitably, taking it from $100 a day in profit to maybe $1,000 a day in profit, but also seeing that consistently in long-term results over multiple months and multiple years? And this is quite a difficult problem to solve, but in this video, I'm hopefully going to completely change your life, and I'm going to show you a solution which works every single time. So we need to understand why some days we spend money on our ads, we become profitable, and then the next day we're unprofitable, and then one day we're profitable, and then we're really unprofitable, okay? And we need to understand exactly why this is happening before we can actually solve this problem because at this point when we're running ads like this what ends up happening is the average profit that we run into is a line that draws across like this which is basically saying we are just more profitable than break even so we're going to use audience segmentation to explain why this is happening and also increase the profitability of our campaigns so basically what happens is you have a boat so the size of our boat is our budget okay now when we start to increase our ad spend that boat starts to move between different audiences sometimes there are less fish less customers in those audience which means we're making less sales or less profit per day okay then what happens is the more that we spend our budget the more budget we put into it the less time it spends also the more time it spends in a single audience which means when it's in here and there's lots of fish it's cleaning up it's making lots of profit okay and that for example would be a profitable day but when we move into a space like this we're now in an audience for much longer that doesn't have any customers or we're in this area where there's a lot less customers so we're in a much unprofitable area which would be somewhere down down here okay that's kind of what's happening okay but how do we actually solve this problem how do we actually create long-term scalable results well I'm actually doing a free live workshop where I'm breaking down how I grew this e-commerce store to $109,000 in 24 hours and the link for that is down below in the description you're also going to get a free course if you register for that free training but I want to analyze quickly why this is happening in our campaigns okay so back in like 2020 2021 when you run your ads on Facebook you kind of would set them up like this where you'd have a CBO campaign for example or just a, a normal campaign and you give it maybe $400 in budget okay it then splits that budget across multiple audiences so you create multiple ad sets with different audiences like acne dry skin hypoallergenic and natural okay and then what happens is you start to make some sales and you find out that some of those ad sets are profitable and some of those ad sets are not profitable okay and the hope is here that either if we're running a manual campaign we would turn off the ones that aren't profitable and we'd push all of the budget to the ones that are and basically allocate our budget where we've got 80 percent of the profitable ones five percent to the unprofitable uh, and 15 percent to the two and a half ROAS one which by the end of it will leave us with a 3.2 ROAS again the problem is now when you're running Facebook ads it's actually very different now you can still do audience targeting but for the most part it is just giving Facebook the control and saying look you take the control you go and pick the audiences and I'm just going to give you the budget okay which means it now has this broad campaign that it can run to now when it runs to this campaign the idea is it's going to balance itself and you'd still come out with that 3.2 ROAS the trouble with this is a lot more volatile okay so here's what's happening right as we start to spend more money on our ads Facebook's going out and it's picking the audiences and it's swimming around in these different areas and it's spending a few days trying to work out if this is a profitable audience okay because also within these audiences you've got areas that have higher densities of fish so for example the boat is now swimming around over here it's caught a few fish Facebook's now like okay I'm gonna keep on looking around in this audience until suddenly it hoovers up a load of fish okay so it's trying to spend a lot more time working out who your audience is so it spends more time swimming around in this area before it moves over to this area okay and as it does that you get days which are profitable and unprofitable now the idea is eventually what will happen is it will be a lot more dynamic and it can understand okay we need to spend more time in this audience and now this area has got a nice overlap for lots of customers okay but we are in the early stages of scaling so we need to make sure that when this boat is moving around we're going to be as profitable as possible so here's what I'd recommend you actually do is you create multiple angles in your ads okay so what happens now is each one of these here is an angle that you're targeting and I've gone through this in a little bit more detail in some other videos but essentially what we have here is different ads that we're running which are targeting different angles so this is going to be angle one this is going to be angle two and this will be angle four okay and because Facebook's quite smart it can understand the context of each one of these ads and the theory here is well now if the video ad is ta targeting and talking about acne then what it will do is it will push this directly to 
this audience, okay? Or more of the customers in this audience are going to be served this ad. Okay, so this is basically audience segmentation by using ads. And this basically means that when somebody sees your ad, there is more continuity from their understanding and their problems and their pain systems and their beliefs to what your ad is showing them. Okay, so this is how I recommend you set this up right at the start. You create a landing page, and I, I recommend you build advertorials, and I've done a video on that, so go ahead and have a look at the channel. But you set up your landing page where you're basically targeting each one of these pains. So to start off with, right, you're increasing the likelihood that you're going to convert a customer when your ads are just moving around. Okay, when you have that boat and it's in any one of these audiences, there's a much greater chance that there is some pain point that they have shown to them in an ad, right? So for example, right at the low budget area, you're going to increase your ROAS massively by doing this. You are now in an intersection between all of these audiences. All of your ads are now showing to all of these people. And then also, when that customer comes through here, they watch this ad and it relates to them. And then they come onto your website and they read through your website. That customer is going to realize that there's a lot in common with what you sell and the problems that they have, okay? Which is going to lead to you increasing your conversion rates. So essentially what happens now is when we are at low budget, we're getting a much higher ROAS. But when we start to scale our budgets and that boat starts to move between different audiences, it's much easier to convert customers because when they read this and they're in the dry and natural space, when they come onto the website, what they can see actually, there are two this is a very simplistic way of putting it, but there are two segments of audience in actually woven into the landing page. Okay, So basically you are relating to as many customers in as many overlaps as possible. Now that's what you want to do in like the first early stages of scaling. Okay, Now I've done a, a video where I say how you can scale up these ads and how you can do a proper scaling strategy, but this is kind of like the overall principle. Now when you're at higher scale, what you want to do is convert these into their own specific landing pages. Okay, So now what's going to happen when you're doing like, you know, two, three hundred dollars a day in ad spend, you know that you are going to be targeting broad, okay? But you also know that you're going to be pushing that to ads that have specific targeting, okay? So for example, angle one is going to push directly to this landing page here, okay? And then angle two, this is getting quite confusing with all of these arrows, is going to push directly to this landing page. Angle three is going to push directly to this landing page, okay? So that way when our ads are now spending, what's gonna happen is any customer that watches one of these ads and relates to it is gonna click on it. They're gonna be in the acne audience, they're gonna click on that ad, but they're gonna be taken directly to the landing page which talks about acne. Okay, so you can somewhat control, not necessarily the audiences that you're targeting. We're giving Facebook the control of the audiences, but you are saying anybody who relates to this ad is going to be sent to a landing page which is directly designed to convert them. Okay? And that is like one of the easiest ways of making sure that we can scale profitably because this means we can guarantee the conversion rates, right? So here's a comparison for you, okay? This is going to be our early funnel, okay? This is currently what you're doing. The conversion rates on this funnel are maybe 1.5%, okay? The conversion rates on this split funnel where we're targeting multiple angles are probably going to be closer to a 2, maybe 2.5%. Whereas each one of these is should be converting at a 3 to a 3.5%. And that's literally just because when somebody lands on the website, it's telling them exactly what they want to hear. It's converting them for exactly what they're interested in and what their problems are. They've clicked on that ad, they've gone to the landing page, and it's like going through a flow that just makes perfect sense for them. So you're going to increase the conversion rates. So when you start to scale your ad spend, you have this system sort of automated on the back end. So basically you just pump budget, and it's automatically going to move and split the traffic to exactly where you need it. Okay. The good news is I have a free course, and I'm doing a free live workshop. The link for that is down below in the description. If you sign up for the workshop and you turn up to the workshop, then you're going to get access to this free course. There's like three hours of free training. We're only going to teach you how to choose products that are easy to market. So if you're not actually built an e-commerce store yet and you're trying to build an e-commerce store, you're going to have information on working out what products to choose. You're going to work out how to build a store and build these landing pages and making sure that you're going to convert customers using advertorials. And I'm also going to teach you how to systemize the entire back end of your business so you can spend time focusing on these marketing problems. Okay. So if you go ahead and click the top link down below in the description, you can go ahead and register for the free class. Save yourself a seat and I will see you there.